Hello everyone. Hey, how are you all doing? Karen Wolf in the art studio this evening and uh, we're going to paint dandelions. Um, sometimes I just don't know. <laughs> and I was going back through some of my paintings, um, some of the older ones, and I found this painting of dandelions. And we'd done this back in 22, but we're going to do it again. So, I hope you guys are having a good evening, had a good day, all is well with you all. If it is not, I hope it gets better, and, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going on behind me, too. I'm getting ready for a chicken birthday painting party, uh, this weekend on Friday, a, par a private event. I do those in the studio. If you haven't heard about that, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, this one's coming up this weekend on... Uh, Saturday, the coneflowers, we're going to um, transfer uh, some letters on that one. We've got, uh, I just did this one in my All Access membership. That was an extra little surprise for them. We did that, the Farm Fresh Eggs. That was fun. And uh, then we've got the um, Highland Cow. It's in there. Uh, on my in studio and the um, gnome in the bathtub, it's on my in studio. We're doing all those in studio. Um, and the soccer painting is on Saturday morning. It's different, a little bit different than this. Instead of horizontal, it's vertical. Same thing, but instead of going vertical, it's up this way. So, We've got this one. If you haven't signed your kiddos up for this one, do that one. We're doing it in the studio. I'll post the link here in the comments. Uh, or, yeah, in the comments so you guys can uh, pop out on the website and um, get them registered. That is a fun thing. Uh, the kids love painting in the studio. The adults like painting in the studio. It's a fun time for everyone. So this is a kids painting. We're doing this Saturday morning, uh, 11 o'clock, I believe. The cone flowers is shortly after from two to four, uh, two to 4.30. And these are later on in the month, and as well as the uh, little ballerina chick up there. We're doing that one this month in the studio. So lots of stuff happening in the studio. Um, yeah, you all get, inter get interested in that painting and Painting is therapy. Painting is fun. And, yeah, makes makes all the things better in the world. So, there you go. We'll move you in closer. Move you in a little bit closer. And we're going to paint some dandelions. So, and this is important, too. This right here. <laughs> if you all could help me out with that, I would appreciate it. Uh, this is, like... So important for small businesses uh, on social media. So that is a fun, good thing too. All right, so let me get you get you situated so you can see. Hopefully, oh sorry, my finger was in the way. Well, I can't figure it out. If I move one, it's backwards. So if I move it the way I think it should go, it's the wrong way. There, so hopefully you guys can see that. And there we go. All right. So we're going to paint the dandelions. <clears throat> and I'm using acrylic paint. Nothing fancy. Just some Liquitex uh, paint here. Um, nothing, you know, it's just uh, acrylic paint. You can use whatever you've got. You do not have to have what I have. You can have whatever you have. Um, it doesn't matter. But this is what we're painting is the dandelions. I painted this a, a while back. Like I said, back in 22, we're going to do it again. So I may change the background color, though. I've got some cerulean here. I may, may go with a little bit of... It looks like I did that on that one, though. I was thinking that looked more like ultramarine, but hey, maybe not, but cerulean's a pretty color, really pretty color, and um, I like to use it 
every now and then. Most of the time what I use is ultramarine blue. Hey, Belinda, welcome aboard. Hey, thanks for joining. Appreciate you jumping on here this evening. All right, so I'm just going to go around the outside edge. This is an 8x10 canvas. It's not a very big canvas. So uh, that's what we're working with this evening. And acrylic paints. And so far, I'm just using a a um, eight and a half inch brush. Or not eight and a half inch brush. Listen to me. That'd be a big brush, wouldn't it? <laughs> an eight and a half, or an eight by 10 canvas and a one inch brush. Oh my gosh. Can't even talk. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So I'm just coming on here. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just doing some uh, X strokes here, just getting that canvas covered with that paint. I am leaving my outside edge a little bit darker than the middle. And then I'm going to come down here at the bottom and I'm going to go in with a little bit of uh, green. I'm not even going to rinse my brush. I'm just going to go into some green. I'm using Hooker's green. I've got to darken it a little bit. So I'm going to go into a little bit of um, burnt sienna and a little bit of blue to darken my green a little bit. Just making a dark green for down here on the bottom. Just smushing that in there a little bit. I want it to be darker on the bottom. And then as I come up into that blue, I'm softening my edge right there. See how I'm just making that background soft and I'm blending that into the blue that I just did. The blues that I just uh, painted in. And then I'm gonna start bringing up some, some grass and things that are growing down here in the bottom field, whatever we're in, whatever we're, whatever this is. And you can put as many or as few as you want, it doesn't matter. So as I, as I go in here with the green and the blue and whatever, uh, it lightens a little bit with the blue that I have in the background. And then as I go back in with the dark, it uh, starts out dark. And then as I keep painting, then it lightens it a little bit. And those in the background look like they're farther away. The ones in the front look like, or the ones that are dark look like they're in the front. So we're just putting some grasses in there. This I'm going to darken, have to darken that up when it dries. It's too wet right now to darken it. So, But the dandelions are coming out. I was walking Went for a walk finally this evening. First time I've walked in quite some time. And I saw a bunch of dandelions. And then I was back there looking through my paintings to see what I could paint on here this evening. And I found, ran across this painting that I had and that I did. And thought you guys might like that. So there's that. I want to dry it a little bit, I think. Well, because, just because I don't think the colors will stick on there very good. Maybe. Let's try it. Okay. So I'm just going to start putting in some dandelions. I'm going to take my half inch brush. I'm going to go into a little bit of yellow and Burt Sienna, just getting some color on there. Yellow and Burt Sienna. We'll make a color that is kind of just mustardy looking. Sort of. I've got one over here. Yeah, it's probably going to need 
dried a little bit. There's one here. And they may not be in the exact same place that they were the first time. They have those little thingies sticking out. Don't forget about those. There's just like a center, and then I'm just kind of tapping out that outside edge. Put one down here. These grow pretty low, pretty low to the ground. They're not a tall flower. Some of them are just barely off the ground. Y'all say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's watching. I cannot see. Um, it says there's two, but oh, there's Deborah, Debbie, Deborah, Deborah, Debbie. <laughs> she says she answers the thing. Uh, hey, Debbie, how you doing? All right, glad you were able to jump on. Your internet must be cooperating with you. All right, so I've got these right here. We're painting dandelions. And then I've got another little one. It's not up that high, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that. And you can put as many or few as you want, but I'm just doing what I did last time. Had a little um, one of those and a little one of those. All right, so there's that. Starting of dandelions. It's yellow and burnt sienna for that. I'm rinsing my brush, drying it with my paper towel. I think I am going to dry this a little bit. I'm saying that, and then I'm not, am I? I'm just going to take that dark green color and make a little shape for that. And then it has the little there. And then all these are going to have that under them. This one is in a little uh, bit of that right there. It hasn't quite bloomed out. And this one has that. Yeah, I'm going to have to dry it because it's wet. And it's not um, sticking very good. Wet on wet's fun, though, um, because um, it blends and things, and it gives you a different look. But sometimes it's good to have it dry so that your color sticks. easy painting that you can do um, you can do it on any size but this 8 by 10 is good and it's good to practice on these also just to get really just to get some good practice in so I've dried this I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna make my um, dandy lines have a little bit more uh, color and shape and stuff uh, the center is dark, a little bit darker. And I'm just doing that with the burnt sienna and the yellow with more sienna in it than yellow. Just getting that, tapping that in in the center just to get that a little darker. Um, and we did the whole outside with that color. Simple but lovely. Thank you, Blenda. Yeah, just as, sometimes you just do them for fun. Just... I mean, they don't have to, every painting that you do doesn't have to be an elaborate, you know, full-blown uh, thing. Then you just kind of flip out just little touches to just to indicate that those um, dandelions have those little um, they have little tiny 
um, petals that they're uh, that stick out. They're just barely. Uh, they're just like a tiny little thing. So you just do the indication of a couple of them, and then tap in the rest, and you got it. If you just have a couple of them, like the. The viewer will figure out if you just give them a couple little um, indications of the petals, the viewer will figure it out. You don't have to paint in every little little thing because if you do, for one thing, it just makes your painting too stiff. So just uh, touching in and just giving it the shape of the dandelion, a couple indications of the, uh, I'm gonna brighten this, this light is my light side over here. Um, give it the shape of a dandelion and the strokes, just a, you know, indications of the dandelions, little thingies there. And people will look at this and you don't have every little thing painted in and they'll say, oh, well that's a dandelion because that one looks like a dandelion. That one looks like a dandelion, but it's not painted in fully with every little thing. But the shape's there. You got a couple of little petals there. Isn't that cool? It's just neat. Painting is just magic. You're just magic. I say that a lot. Painting painting is just like, you know. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white, but I may go back in and do this in a minute when it's a little drier. Because if you put in your lights too quick over top, and I didn't want that to be like white. Uh, if you put your light, your accent highlight in too quick, on the wet paint, it doesn't stick. But I used to paint in every little single thing, every little single thing, every hair on the person's head and the pores on their skin. Just kidding. Um, but you don't have to do that. Leave a little bit to the imagination. And it's a little fun to paint that way, I think. It's more fun to paint that way. So go in with a little bit more dark on the underside there and the dark side of that. I'm gonna go a little bit dark on this one. And two, we need to put in the stems and the darks on those other um, flowers. Let's put the stems in. I don't really want them to be too dark because the stems on those are kind of transparent. Um, so they're kind of a yellowish, greenish. So I'm gonna go into some green, some yellow, a little bit of white, just a light color. Cause those are like pretty, pretty transparent little, little doodads, aren't they? You ever? seen dandelions they're just if you have them where you live they have like a we used to they have kind of a hollow center even don't they we can darken a little bit of that one side a little bit but you want to keep them more they're not thin. I'm going to thicken those up a little bit. Um, yeah, they're hollow. We used to put, um, somehow we'd like put water in them. And they have a nasty taste, but I, it seems like I remember like making straws out of them or something. But they're kind of bitter. <laughs> and how do I know that? 
I don't know, I'm crazy. Okay, so I'm just, these are kind of a little bit, they're not real skinny and they're not real fat. They're just right. <laughs> Would you like that? Hey, Tammy. Hello, my friend. You've been busy. Been a busy girl. Been trying to see your stuff. I get busy too, and I don't get a don't get to watch a lot. Um, I did see your cross live, and you said that was your first first one. You did a great job. Did a really good job. Love that. Love it. That was fun. All right, so now I've got those in there. I'm going to do some um, of those little things that are coming down there, the little whatever they are. Uh, yellow, the little dark, little bit of dark yellow. I'm, I am putting a little bit of yellow in this. I'm just pulling these down. You can do this with a half inch flat or you can do it with um, a, and when I do it with a half inch flat, I'm just taking, let me see if you guys can see that. I'm just taking that brush and just taking the very tip of that brush and pulling those down. Did you all see that? Yeah. So I'm just taking that, uh, and there'll be some sticking down out from underneath that one a little bit and that one a little bit. But you can also take, your um, liner brush and do some of those also. Take your liner brush. Get when I use my liner brush, I get a, in the wa in the water. Water, roll it around, and and get it, a little bit of water in it because that makes your paint um, flow better, kind of like inkish, like, and then you can uh, do your little. Um, things like that. But I like to use a half inch flat. I just, I'm, I just use a half inch flat for a lot of things. Um, I just, I don't know. If I could only, if I only had one brush, somebody told me you can only have one brush. I would you I would say a half inch flat. And the reason I can do that is I don't paint real big paintings. I, I don't. I used to, but anymore, unless it's a commission painting um, where someone's asked me to paint. You know, I had to paint. Someone had asked me to paint their child, grandchild, a while back. And um, I used uh, 18 by 24 canvas, and it was so fun. But normally I do... 12 by 16s, 11 by 14s, and 8 by 10s, that size. So then I'll just go in with a little bit of light. And the reason I don't use the liner for stuff like that, too, this too, um, for bigger places is like this is okay. But if you're doing that, I just feel like I get too stiff with it. If I'm painting a bigger spot with a, with a liner brush. Because I like to paint loose. But that's a that's a personal preference thing. That's what what you like to do. I just like loose painting. I don't like to be stiff. Okay. So see like right there that well I don't like that being like all stiff and whatnot. Okay, so there are uh, your indications of your dandelions and your little buds coming out. This one's popping and getting ready to pop out. And we put the little thingies on there. And the leaves, the big leaves that I have in the back, um, I just kind of guessed at those. I think I had to actually look, uh, look those up online last year when I was doing, or in 22 when I was doing those. Oh my gosh. Cause I didn't know what they looked like and that's what I came up with but they they kind of round off um let's see if I can find um I had some soft fine charcoal here somewhere in a bag and I have lost it and I 
put a piece of chalk in it, so I would have the chalk, and I've lost it. And now you guys probably won't be able to see that. But it's a, well, it's not that big. It's just a, a round, oh, you can't see that. Um, it just kind of has like a long, and then those little things like coming out on the sides like that a little bit. And actually, I don't know that the top is that rounded. And then this one. But I, th I think I recall telling them uh, in the video, if there's something that you have trouble with and that you're not getting it and you, you can't figure it out, sometimes you can just hide it in the grass. <laughs> so I think I hid those in the grass. So there's that. But it's just a, I went in with a little bit of green. Just put in my indications of my little leaf. I didn't go see. I mean, I'm I'm not going into a lot of lot of detail with this thing. I'm just painting it in here. No big deal. There's another one coming up. And you don't even have to put those in. You do not even have to put those in. You can just leave that out. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, then I just took a little bit of yellow and green, put in my green, and just made a lighter green on the, on this side. But see, there's not, I'm certainly not painting this with any detail at all. I'm just putting those things in there. And then I'm going to put grass on top of them, so I'm not worried about it. Then you can take a little bit of white, put your little bit, just a little bit of highlight here and there. These are so far down, buried up in there, you wouldn't have any highlights on them probably anyways. Just hide it. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I say, Tammy. If you can't paint something, just hide it. It's no big deal. All right. So, um, and that's what I did there. You can see that. And then the grass in the front, I just did, in, like, in front of that one. I, if you don't like it, just cover it up. I uh, do a little bit of grass here and there. No one will know. No one will know. They will not know that you could not paint that grass, that you didn't like that grass, or not grass, leaf. And... That's okay. That looks like something's coming out of the top of that one. I think I don't like that, so I'm going to... Look like something was coming out of the top of it. Okay, so we have that. I am going to put a little bit darker down here. Green. And blue and sienna. Just popping in some color, some more color. Green, blue, sienna, just a dark green there. Bring some of them up in there. Just less is more with this one. Just be, just don't go crazy with it. Less is more. Just leave it kind of simple, like uh, Belinda said in the beginning. Just simple, but... But yet yeah, pretty. Just not a whole lot. Don't forget to paint your sides. I'm not a big fan, but I try to do that because it finishes up the painting. And I sell a lot of these. I do the live sales and I, I sell my paintings. So, um, yeah. It's nice to have that all done when I'm ready for that part. Hey, Emily. All right. So, uh, there's that. How about that? See a little bit of that blues coming through? I like that. I like that. I like that. That blue is really cool. It just makes it look like there's some other stuff going on down in there. Some other weeds and things coming up. All right. 
But like I said, less is more. Have fun with it. Sign your paintings. Be proud of your art. Painting is therapy. Painting is fun. Thank you all so much for jumping on here with me this evening. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, let's see. That's not going to show up. Um, let's do... I usually try to use for my signature a color that I've used in the... Uh, in the painting that will coordinate with the painting. I'd like for my signature to show up, but I don't want it to be the main event, you know. But I want, I want it to be there because I want people to see it. And I can't get this to show up. And you go to all the trouble to paint something, and then you can't get your daggone signature to show up. All right. There's that. I just put my, I've put my first initial and my last name ever since. And I usually date it with the year, so I know what year. Can't even hardly read that. So I know what year I painted it. Oh, you're welcome, Tammy. I enjoy doing it. Glad to glad to be here and help. I'm here to help. I'm an artist, and I teach you guys how to paint and become better painters, and that's what uh, what I do. So, if you're interested in learning to paint, become or you paint, and you want to become a better painter, you can hang out with me and uh, learn all the things. I do. Uh, I do what I do, and, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best, or I'm, I just paint, and I like it, and I show you how I do it, so, all right, and remember, too, acrylic paint dries two to three shades darker, so you're going to paint this, and you're going to get this light while it's wet, and you're going to think, oh, this is really good, and it's light enough, and it looks good, and all of that, but then whenever it dries, it may dry darker. So if it does, you have you're gonna have to go back in and lighten up the areas that you need to lighten again, because yeah, they'll dry darker. That's just how it does. Is that a grasshopper? Uh, I don't know that. I don't know what that is. I'm probably trying to paint a weed or something. I don't know. I didn't add it to this one. Cause I didn't know what it was. It could be a grasshopper. <laughs> Cause they're out there eventually. Yeah. So, but when I went for a walk, I saw so many of the uh, dandelions. I, they're everywhere. Um, but it is that time of year. Spring is coming. Spring is here. So, it actually is here. <laughs> so. Hey, Dee. All right. So, we've got the um, the dandelion painting that I just did for you. You guys, if you're just jumping on, go back and watch it, and you guys can do this at home. It's a, um, this is on an 8 by 10 canvas, and I just uh, painted this on here live. It took me, what, 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes. So, uh, it's a quick little thing. No, um, not hard. Not, it's just some paint, uh, layers of paint. Just take your time and do it, and you all can do that. I used a half inch flat, uh, one inch flat, and a liner, and some green, blue, white, yellow, and burnt sienna paint. So, not a whole lot. All right, so y'all join in on with me in the studio. Um, like I said, I've got the kids painting coming up uh, in the studio. The soccer painting's coming. It's on uh, Saturday. I'm doing a birthday party on Friday evening of the chick. It's a private one. We're doing the uh, tub, two uh, tubs that's this month, the gnome and the howling cow. And then um, up there, the chick is this month, and the comb flowers. That one's Saturday. The comb flowers is Saturday. So I've put the link in the comments uh, for the 
uh, schedule. You just go out to Art by Karen Wolf, click on that link, go to In Studio Parties, uh, Painting Parties, and you'll see them. Sign up and head to the studio. <laughs> if you're online, there's online painting tutorials there too, where you can paint this one uh, that we did this evening. Uh, for those of you that are not local, you can paint this uh, dandelion painting. So, yeah, Emily, I'll see you on Saturday. Absolutely. At two. <laughs> oh, last time she was a little bit early. Just a little bit early. All right. It'll be fun. It'll be so fun. You guys are going to love it. The uh, in-studio parties are fun. And also painting online is fun, too. Um, there's a lot that you can do here. Uh, yeah, it's funny. A lot that you can do here on the um, uh, page on Art by Karen Wolf. You can do that on the website, not on this page. Well, there's a lot that you can do on this page, too. Um, there's a lot of videos and things that I do on here, so you guys can do that here, too. Lots of videos here, lots of videos on YouTube, lots of videos on um, the website. And for those of you that are local... Uh, join me in the studio and we'll paint. So we'll paint, like I said, we'll paint the um, comb flowers and we're going to stencil on those or you can paint an extra um, flower or two in the painting on that one because it has space in the top. We're going to stencil in that area. Um, I'll, I'll have some forms to choose from. Uh, like Love Grows Here and things like that. And then, um, or you can just paint some extra flowers in there, no big deal. And then the kiddos are going to enjoy the um, soccer one. So, lots of fun, lots of fun. Join in with me and um, we'll do all that. Do all of the things. Okay, well, I'm going to jump off of here. Um, thank you guys so much for joining in. I'm going to uh, work on some prep work for the painting parties that I have coming up that I was just talking to you about. Uh, get those canvases ready for you guys so you can uh, so you can paint. All right, thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Uh, you all take care, and I'll see you back on here next time, um, and we'll do something. Paint or talk about painting or something. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. You're welcome, Tammy. Thanks. Bye-bye.